Welcome to my tour of an Atari game chip. Here we see a couple of electrodes. Some solder on it. Those are the two big boxes with blobs on them. And then we see, I see a few little circuits on here. Ooh, some more little circuits. Here we come to the large memory section of the chip. I apologize, the focus will not always be sharp because the microscope is very sensitive to elevation. Going further down, we see some more electrodes. The electric superhighway, highways I should say, all produced by Hitachi Corporation. This is my favorite part of this chip. It is eight little boxes of different patterns, all enclosed in their own little unique box. Here's the electronic highway interchange, which connects up to the core path between the two memory sections. Going along this, we will see one channel, then two channels, then three channels, and Finally, we come to the core of the chip. Well, what I believe is the core. It has eight little circuits, which look like frogs. The rest of the chip is pretty much symmetrical to the other side. This number is probably the chip number, and there is also some more fancy gadgets in a little box. Finally, we come up to the top here, where there is an electrode with a wire. Bringing it into focus shows that it is fairly large. In reality, this electrode is about half a millimeter wide. The magnification on the microscope is currently at 100 times, with my camera zoomed in at 3 times magnification. Going down to 40 times on the microscope, and 120 times total, we have a quick overview of the chip. There's the central path, again, circuits on the bottom and some more little circuits on the top. Bringing the chip out, we can see that it was made by Parker Brothers in 1983. A long time ago. And you can see with scale to my fingers how small the chip is also. According to Moore's Law, in the current day there would be about 8,192 times as much circuits or information stored on a similar chip. Thanks for watching.